Hey guys, all right, as you can see, I've got a G30 520 BMW here. We have a uh, bunch of stuff and a uh, match DSP to get in here, so we have some German Maestro concepts to go in the factory spots in the front. There's our DSP. And of course we do have some replacement under seat subs to go back into the factory position up under the seats in the front. So first things before anything, I will uh, get some masking all over this car, make sure we don't do anything to scratch it and start pulling it apart. All right, start pulling it apart. All right, so first we're gonna get this boot stripped because the factory amplifier is back over that side. So start getting this stripped. Okay, so as you can see, I've now revealed that factory amplifier. So next step is going to be remove this and uh, double check all my wiring is going to fit and plug in for my plug and play and we can start getting the, uh, the new amplifier mounted. Cool. Plug out and our factory amp out. Now, moment of truth. We have our harness here from our match, and this, with any luck, should be oh, look at that clamp lock. Love it. So we've got our new match amp, there's our original one. So if we go through our box here, we've got that bracket, and of course that bracket is a copy of what this amplifier mount is. So that's quite cool, it means that um, obviously this, once this is mounted in, it's just going to go straight back into its spot where it was before, which is awesome. I like things that are designed well. bracket mounted so that will now fit straight back into our spot which is quite nice all right next now in theory I should be able to plug my harness in and it should work straight away that would be nice click click going to turn on. All right, that is a green light. I'll go up and we'll see. We've got some audio going on. Hey, cool. So this isn't tuned yet, but I mean, we've got audio and all I've done is plug the amplifier in. So that's cool. I'm impressed. So that means we can actually get that boot back together now uh, and start working on speakers. Cool. All right, get this mounted back up. Bang. Like I bought one.
so for the speakers that are going in here, they're not gonna fit straight back into this factory spot, so I'm gonna need to make up a mount for it, but we will do that in a few minutes. Mount made up, so this will fit back into our position here. Alright, so that's one door wired, got one side tweeter in. Drop this off. So there's my wiring from the mid. And obviously the crossover wired into that factory wiring and re-loomed. Tweeter in there. So get this door back together. One door, I'll get the other side started. All right, we've got the driver's side done, so now I'm gonna get this passenger side sorted out. I've already got my speaker and mount made up, ready to go. So, get this stripped apart get the wiring sorted out, get the speaker mounted and um, get it back together. This is the last bit before I've got to get some tuning done. Yeah. Like I bought one. Like it was made for it. while I'm doing this, if you have any questions or you see something like, what the hell is he doing? Yeah. Ask. All right. Feel free to ask. Yeah, I will. Like I said last time, no stupid questions, only stupid answers. And I will give you stupid answers if you let me. 
what I'm doing now is something that not a lot of guys will do, but because it's me and I'm a weirdo, I like doing things as factory as I possibly can. Yeah. So like this, for example, a lot of guys just would have taken them, sold it onto them and re-extended the wires back to that. I don't like that. I would prefer that there's no oh, less joins. So now what I do is I'll de-loom this back to here so that I can get these wires to reach over to that. Oh, yeah. And then I can actually run them directly back and then re-loom it back up. Yeah. And run a fresh one back over to the other one. Click, 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 click. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Next thing I'm going to attack is the under seat subs. So these have a factory 8 inch sub underneath each of the driver's seats. So we do have another match replacement that's going to go back under that factory spot. So start lifting these seats up and get them out. Oh, now, revealed that under seat sub grill that's under here. So I'll get that cover ripped off and we can um, start getting these sub boxes out and get them changed out. is that B1 under seat sub. Extract that sub doofa. There it is. sub out all right there we go here's our match replacement so as you can see that has the exact same mounting but a bit of a heftier heftier woofer that's for sure so bonus of this is that is gonna go literally bang straight back into that standard spot which is quite nice these already have gasket on the back of them ready to go so it's literally drop it in the hole put some screws back into it and just have to rejig the the wiring itself that goes to the woofer and that's it bam easy so another very cool thing about the match woofers is they come with plugs so We've got our factory plug, which is sitting down here, in there. I can take my plug that comes with our match woofers, and bam, just like that. That plugs in, I can loom these, and then these are gonna go straight, get some light going, straight to the terminals here. And that's it, the woofer can go back in, nice and easy. back on there we go like I bought one just like it was before like no one's ever been here that's what I like
All right, car's back together. So now it's time to get some tuning done. So I've got to get the USB into our DSP, which is going to be down over this side. And uh, feed the cable up to the front and uh, get the laptop plugged in. Start doing some tuning. Time to start doing some tuning. Mm. So quick little firmware update on the unit, which is all automatic, very nice. Basically, as soon as you open this software on the uh, the match, it just goes, yep, you need new software, here it is, would you like it? Very user-friendly. Actually just found out something very interesting as well. This customer has driven four hours from Aubrey to Melbourne to come and get us to do this car because he wanted it done right. I get that. I get that. I understand that. Absolutely. So I've done very, very little tuning so far. I basically set some crossover points. I haven't done any time alignment. Uh, really, it's just crossover points and a tiny bit of level adjust. And it already sounds amazing. I am super impressed. Super impressed already. Get some more tuning and get some time alignment done and... Um, Make it sound real nice. that runs through the processor at the same time oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's sort of toned down a little bit I've sort of cut the frequency ranges that it's using um, but it does actually add to the center image um, yeah. Yeah. so it works all right it works all right I mean generally when I'm doing um, time alignment to fronts uh, you would run just with the speakers and I would time align it to get a center image just with the front speakers mm. um, but the fact is that with this car because we're running passive on the um the fronts it means you lack a little bit of tunability between the tweeters and the mids um so normally if we were doing a system where it's you know a full active system then you have a lot more adjustability for the fact that you can adjust the tweeters and the mids separately uh, so you can actually time align them separately right um, so as it is now basically it means that they're linked together on a crossover and i have to time align them as a pair which is fine. I mean, that's how this amplifier is designed to work. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And then you can add that little bit in the center just to give it that tiny bit of extra staging. But the funny thing is, I can turn that center channel off and it still sounds like it's coming from there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty high tech stuff, isn't it? It is. Yeah. There you go, something about there. Jump in. Yeah. That's all tuned up. Um, 
I'm very impressed with how this is sounding so far. Um, the speakers are still fresh, they're still yet to wear in. We've got tons of mid bass, and it's very kicky, very punchy. Um, the highs are really nice and clean. We've got a nice stage happening, uh, it's very smooth, and again, they're not worn in. So once these are worn in, it's gonna sound better again, and it's gonna come back for a retune once the speakers are worn in, and just get that extra little tweak out of it. So, customer just came in and had a listen. He was blown away at how good it sounds. Uh, and of course, he's got a four hour drive back up to Aubrey again, so he's gonna have a ton of time to enjoy his stereo, which is awesome. So, yeah, we're here. I'll get the boot back together, and he can take his car. All right, there it is. The beam is all finished. Uh, the amplifier's in. I'm really impressed with these amplifiers. It literally was a plug and play style system. So it plugged in and it turned on. That was awesome. Uh, the speaker upgrade has definitely helped the car. It sounds night and day compared to what it used to. So that is a absolute bonus. So the customer gets to go drive home and enjoy his system and uh, enjoy his music. So thanks for watching guys. Subscribe and like it and uh, I'll see you next time. See ya. Stop recording. Fine, don't stop recording.